Hi guys, it's Tracy and today I'm back with a monthly makeup wrap up for you guys letting you know what I thought of the products that I was testing out throughout the month of July. And I have quite a few products here, some hits, some misses, so let's get into it. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and let's get on with the favorites. Not the favorites, these are the ones I've tested. Maybe favorites, maybe not favorites. So the first and only palette that I had in the mix this month was the new or newer by now, you know, they put ColourPop puts out a palette every week. The Blue Moon palette, this is just the blues and I really like this. I like mixing it with some other pal palettes that I'll tell you about in a makeup I'll be testing video. They look really good together, but I love this. I love ColourPop's formula. I, I just, you know, I usually like whatever I get from them. I just wish they wouldn't put so much stuff out that compels me to want to buy because they make it so affordable and then they get you into that trap of, well, if you spend $30, you'll get free shipping. And if anybody knows me, they know I hate to pay for shipping. I just, I hate paying for shipping. I don't know why, but I just hate it. So I always end up going, why might as well spend $30? And there's a new palette coming out, some strawberry shake or something that I just saw and it's like all pink and I'm like, Ugh another one and I just ordered from them. So I love all their stuff. Speaking of ColourPop, I was testing out their blush sticks and their light sticks and I really like these. These are, I think, one of the first blush, you know, like cream blushes that I've tried and they're just so easy to use. They go on top of your foundation really nice. They don't disturb it. And what I do is I just like put it where I want it and then I take a brush and kind of blend it out and it looks really nice. And then the um, highlighter is really beaming like from outer space and I just kind of tap it along my cheeks and then blend it out with my fingers. And this, the highlighter is called Star Bright. And then the two shades that I have are called Hooked and 25-8. And I really, really like these. I wanna buy some more. And I thought about it after I ordered the orange palette. I'm like, why didn't I order the blush stick that matches it? Because I really like it. And then I had picked up two of the new Koki highlighters. These are really nice. They're like a cream to powder formula. They feel really nice on the skin. This one here is called Rosy. And then this one is called Gleaming. And you can build these up to a really nice intensity or you can make them really kind of subtle. So I like that because if you don't want, you know, to have like beaming from outer space um, highlight, then you can use these. And I saw somebody that was doing a dupes video. I can't remember who it was, but they, they thought it was a dupe for like a higher end. Um, highlighter and I was like oh I never thought about that so they're really nice you can like I said put them you know intense or not intense so yeah and then next up here we have these dose of colors these are the two singles I was able to get from the charm room with points I got um, jam and then heart of gold that's heart of gold and then this one is my jam and I use these a few times. Um, they're kind of glittery. And they're, you know, singles, I just, I don't know, I just don't gravitate towards singles. If I, and I tried getting the, this one out of the thing and I ended up breaking it. So then I said, forget it. But I may still try to get them out so that I can put them into a Z palette and use them because they are pretty, but I just, I haven't reached for them. I've used them, you know, like a few times. I think you need a glitter glue with them because they do have glitter that falls down on your face. And then I had this, gotten this Natasha Denona single and the shade is called Morgan, I think, or Morgana. It's kind of like an orangey kind of, I don't know, red, orange kind of color. And um, I got it in an Allure box. And it's, again, it's a single. I don't really gravitate towards them. It's a really pretty color, but it's just a matter of me thinking, oh yeah, you know, and that, the only reason that I was thinking about it this month is because it's been in my box that I keep on my counter in my bathroom of stuff I'm trying out. But if it wasn't in there, then I probably wouldn't reach for it. 
So I may have to try to get that one out of the thing too and depot it. This is a really pretty color. It wore really nicely. You know, it was, it was good. Now a really big disappointment for me is these um, shadows that I told you I had picked up off of AliExpress. The, the company is C-M-A-A-D-U. It's like Command Do. And they're like these multi-chrome shadows and they don't have like names to them. They were numbered. Like this is three, this is one and this is two so this one was probably four and they're really really pretty like I, tr I swatched them but you can't really tell like you can't see the multi-chrome of it when I'm just showing it it just kind of looks duochrome more than anything they're so pretty and I just thought wow these are so great they're a cream formula and like I said, they're really pretty. Like this one goes from like a, a blue to like a teal to a gold kind of. And I thought, wow, these are so good. I found such a great thing. They're so beautiful. And the only thing is they don't dry. So it's very, very hard to wear them on your lid, especially if you have like hooded lids. And whenever I would put them on, it just transferred all over the place. So they wouldn't stay in place. So I, I started to use them like in the inner corners, which worked pretty good because they're not like touching and, you know, getting messy. But I really wanted to wear them on my lids. So those were like a fail for me this month. And then another fail was this Eye Lights by Model Co. It's like a liquid, um, a liquid shadow and I just it just I, it didn't pack enough punch for me to where I would reach for this over like a Stila glitter and glow it's just kind of eh, kind of fell flat for me so that was a no-go for me now this Mally shadow stick this was a win these are great they are budge proof once you get them on they don't move and this one was the shade Autumn, summer, almost summer. Maybe that's what it says. You guys know I can't read, I can't see. <laughs> but really, really nice formula, love that. And then I had this little sample of the Laneige water cream um, moisturizer. It's almost all gone. I really like this. I like the, the thickness of it. It's not too thick, but it's very moisturizing. And I thought it was really nice. So if I saw this and it was like on sale or something, I would buy it. So that was a, a win. And then I had this Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Natural Glowing Skin. And I didn't even touch it. <laughs> so I'll have to try it out next month. And then I had this sample of Caudalie Vino Pure Skin Perfecting Serum. And this is for I think it says for oily skin. So I didn't use this. I'll have to pass that on to someone. Then I had this Lou by John Jean Sayo. It's a exfoliator. It says it cleans, exfoliates, and brightens. And it was nice. I used it a few times, but it's powder and you have to mix it and it's kind of messy. So I was just, kind of, it just kind of sat there most of the time unless I purposely thought, oh, use that. So I did use it three or four times maybe and it's okay but not anything I would like go out to repurchase and the last thing here was this Amore Pacific vintage single extract essence just this little sample size that I had gotten in a lure box and you know it's skincare you, it's gone <laughs> you can't really do much with a size this small so it was okay not anything I would purchase on my own but it was just an, an eh item. So that's my review and my thoughts on all of the items that I was testing out throughout the month. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you are returning, thanks so much for watching. And if you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day or night wherever you are. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks,